Hi again everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to talk about the winter blues or seasonal affective disorder. I know it's kind of a bummer but we are in that season here, at least we are in the US where it gets a bit gloomy and it can be easy to feel the effects of seasonal affective disorder. If you're on the other side of the world like Australia, it is possible to feel the effects of seasonal affective disorder too because when you watch TV or YouTube or wherever and you see all of these people talking about winter wonderlands and holidays and Christmas and this like idea of what that should look like, you can kind of feel like you're missing out on something because it's hot outside. Or even if in California or Florida, I know that sometimes they don't get very cold weather, so you can feel the effects of seasonal affective disorder there as well. Uh, where I am, it does get very cold, and the sun does go away for many months, so it's very easy to kind of wish that it would be sunny and warm again. So I've developed a few ways to fight the winter blues or seasonal affective disorder, so I'm going to share those with you today. The first couple of ideas that I have are actually from my doctor. I talked to her at my last women's wellness exam and said, you know, I sometimes feel this way during the winter time. What can I do? So she told me that number one is to get outside, even if you have to bundle up, put on hats and scarves and coats and layers, just get outside and take a walk for 15 or 30 minutes. Of course, if you're sick, like you have a cold or something, maybe don't do it, <laughs> but if you are healthy, then to get outside in the fresh air. And I know here, sometimes it will be really sunny, but super cold, and getting in that sunshine, of course, wear your sunscreen, but getting in that sunshine can really help. And I know some days I just didn't want to take that walk, so you just sit outside with your tea or coffee or whatever, bundle up, and just get in that fresh air, and it really helps. The second thing that she recommended can sound kind of scary, but it's called cognitive behavioral therapy. And it's not therapy in like the sense where you lay on a couch and someone asks you about all of your problems. It's just uh, the method that she is talking about is planning positive, pleasurable activities. So you get out your calendar on your phone or your you know notebook or whatever, and you say, okay, on this day this week, I'm going to treat myself in this way. I'm going to read my favorite book. I'm going to watch my favorite movie. And to plan ahead so you're always looking forward to something positive. And maybe it's getting outside for that walk with your friend or going out to dinner with a friend or just something to plan a lot of pleasurable activities. So you're kind of keeping yourself busy with positive things and not worrying so much about the weather. So those are her two ideas. Now the ideas that I use and I think really help um, are number one is to organize your space, clean up your area because I feel weighed down and stressed out by a lot of clutter and by an unclean house. So I think I talked in my last vlog that I was cleaning my house. I like woke up and I just put my mind to it. I was going to clean the whole house and I feel so much better. Also, I've started making my bed every day. You know, some days I would just be like, eh, it's fine. I don't need to make my bed. But now I make my bed every day and it feels good. It's a good way to start off the day. You know, I do the dishes, getting all those little things so that your space feels clear. It helps your mind feel clear and refreshed. So those are, that's one thing I do. Uh, a second thing that I do is I use aromatherapy. So I have a couple of aromatherapy sprays here I'll share with you. The first one has a medicinal purpose as well. It's called Orega Spray. And this has oregano oil in it. And oregano oil is a natural virus killer, and bacteria killer. So whenever you spray this, maybe like into a tissue and then breathe in the oil essence, you can kill possible viruses in your system. You can spray this in car vents, uh, as use it like an antibacterial spray. And it does have a strong oregano scent, but to me it just smells like... Yeah, it just smells fresh. My husband's like, you kind of smell like an Italian restaurant, which is fine. I don't mind it to have those properties. This one that I have actually has lavender, uh, wild bay leaf, and clove oil in it too. So those things really relax you and yeah, make you, make you feel good. The next one I use is by Biggs and Featherbell. This is the lavender chamomile aromatherapy spray. So this one is great for sleeping. It's great for relaxation. If you're having a stressful moment at work, I find this is great to spray into a tissue. And again, you breathe it in like two breaths. Even if you need to excuse yourself to the bathroom, just take a moment to breathe it in and to relax. And the last aromatherapy spray is kind of for this time of year because it's a spearmint peppermint. And this is by Zum or Zoom. I'm not sure how to say that, but yeah, this is a great of the aromatherapy mist to kind of refresh you. It makes you feel really happy because it has the spearmint and peppermint. Also, the peppermint helps with headaches. So if you're someone like me and you get a lot of headaches, then you can spray this again into a tissue or you can spray it just around and breathe in the scent and it really helps. I just find that this makes me feel 
like refreshed. Sometimes I feel a bit claustrophobic in the wintertime. I don't know if you feel like, I just want to get out. I just want to be able to just like run out of my house instead of having to put on coats and hats and all this stuff. So I just feel like this kind of makes me feel free, like freed. I don't know. Maybe that sounds weird, but that's what I like. And along that same line, is I use this sugar Shea Sugar Scrub by Tree Hut, and it's in the Passion Fruit Guava. And I bought this in the summertime and used it all summer. So whenever I use this, it reminds me of summer again. So every time I use it, I kind of am reminded that summer is going to be here again, and this scent just uplifts my mood. It just makes me feel great. So um, I like to use that. Then after I use the Shea Sugar Scrub, sometimes I like to use a self tanner when it gets into like the deep pits of winter and my skin starts to feel dry and lifeless. Sometimes I'll use the Sugar Scrub and then I'll use my Sunless Tanner just to give myself a little color to make my skin feel and look hydrated and glowing. It just helps. I don't know. These, like I said, these are just like my personal ideas, so I find that helps a lot. Um, so yeah, besides those, I like to decorate my house for whatever holiday it is. So right now, like I have these lights here, and I have a Christmas tree up, and stockings, I have mistletoe hung, and I find that just embracing the holiday, embracing the seasons, really helps to a certain extent, because I'm kind of like not hiding from the cold, I'm not hiding from the season, I'm embracing it and making the most of it. I like to make little warm drinks at night out of my holiday mug, and I find it just helps because uh, sometimes when it gets to feel cold, it's easy to just go under the covers and just want to come out whenever it gets warm again. But yeah, sometimes you have to get out of bed and you have to embrace the time, and it really helps. So those are my ideas, and I think the one that helps the best would be the decorating and the aromatherapy sprays. I don't know why. I just think that these really help. Uh, if you have any questions about mental health, about seasonal affective disorder or depression, definitely talk to your doctor. You know, see what they have and what they suggest. If you ever wanted to talk to someone because you're just feeling kind of down, feeling in a funk because of the weather, you can always dial 211 if you're in the U.S. That is, um, if you're not in the U.S., let me know what country you're in and I could find the number for you as well. But 211 will take you to a hotline anywhere in the U.S., doesn't matter what state, and you can talk to someone about how you're feeling. If you're feeling down, they'll talk to you for a little bit and try and help you uh, lift up your spirits again, so that is always an option. But I just wanted to kind of open the door for a conversation about seasonal affective disorder because it can trigger those who have depression, it can trigger their depression or those who suffer from other um, like physical ailments. I know for migraines, for me, it does trigger my migraines, so how learning how to cope and learning some self-care methods for this time of year I think is so important. I would love to hear too what you do to fight the winter blues. Um, I know that working out helps me too. That's one thing I didn't mention. Uh, so yeah, maybe you have some specific ideas of things that I can do or can share with others. So definitely let me know in the comments down below. I hope you enjoyed this informative video and yeah, I'll leave my Twitter and Instagram and blog link down below as well. So I hope you're all having a great day and you're staying warm or cool if you're, if it's hot where you are and I'll see you guys later. Bye.